Now it's Medical Monday and Dr. Kevin Campbell is here this morning with us. Uh, next week he's going to tell us about a new drug that could be a game changer in the fight against congestive heart failure. But today let's talk about this rare virus that infects kids and causes mild to severe respiratory symptoms. It's spreading pretty quickly across the country. Really Doc, is. good to see you. Good to see you, Phil. Any cases here in North Carolina that you know <clears throat> of? The CDC has reported that we do have cases in North Carolina, Georgia, and a few other southern states. It started in Colorado, spread to the Midwest. I've talked to some of my pediatric colleagues here in Raleigh and in the viewing area, and we haven't seen any severe cases of this yet in our viewing area. What are some of the symptoms if, if folks do start to see uh, a little bit of a pop-up here and around? So this is caused by an enterovirus, which is a common cold virus, and this is called enterovirus number 68. Mm. The symptoms are body aches, fatigue, malaise, and some rash, runny nose, you know, really just cold symptoms, it just seems that this particular strain is a little more virulent, meaning it can cause more severe symptoms, and we're seeing a lot of kids in the hospital, particularly in Colorado. What's, what's causing it? What's behind it? You know, I think we have a rarely um, virulent strain of this, and it's the most common thing that we're seeing is kids with asthma and kids with um, a little bit younger and kids with other chronic diseases are having more difficulty. Believe it or not, 900 cases in Denver, in Colorado, wow. 88 are in the hospital, and 15% of those guys are on ventilators or breathing machines. So this is a very severe form of this. No stuff. doubt about it. And as we <coughs> always ask you uh, on the show here, what can we do to prevent this type of thing? So I think this is a good time to review good hand hygiene with your children. Sounds silly. Warm soap and water and sing twinkle, twinkle, little star. Right. And then you're done washing your hands. Other things in schools and whatnot, I think our teachers can wipe down commonly touched surfaces. In daycares, we want to wipe down uh, commonly touched and shared toys and that sort of thing because that's how this stuff spreads. Mm -hmm. And if we can use good hand hygiene, we'll be able to make sure that this doesn't become a problem here. Yeah, let's hope not. Exactly. Fingers crossed. Doc, always good, good to, to see, see you. you. Very important topic this morning. Also, if you have a question for Dr. Kevin Campbell, really easy. Log on to our website, WNCN.com. Search links we mentioned. From there, you can find Dr. Campbell's website or you can like his Facebook page and his Twitter again.